Oh, there's a big one following it. Got him. Big one. Big one. Big one. Oh my gosh, he's barely hooked, I think. That might be the biggest one. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and welcome back to another creek fishing adventure here deep in the Ozark Mountains of Arkansas. Today, we are at one of my favorite creeks of all time, mainly because it's beautiful, but also because it sports some above average size smallmouth bass, which is the target species. Y'all have been loving our recent uh, creek fishing adventures out in the mountains. So, and we love making them. We love getting out in this area this time of year because it's so hot. These creeks are cool, they're beautiful, and it's a great place to catch fish and a bunch of them. And like I said, this one here has some big ones. So that's what we're targeting today specifically. Uh, we'll catch anything and everything as always, but uh, we're trying to catch the big boys. So today to do that, I got this guy. I'm gonna primarily focus on throwing this today. It's a little jerk bait. This seems to catch those bigger above average size fish. And the main reason I'm throwing the jerk bait is because this creek in particular has a ton of silvery bait fish in it. I mean, it is loaded and this is the forward that these guys really key in on. So we're gonna try to trigger them to eat that, but if that doesn't work out, we have a bag full of a bunch of baits we can use to do so. So guys, we're gonna get after it. We have a long day ahead of us. We got a long way downstream to get some of these good spots. So if y'all are excited to join along with us on today's adventure, do us a favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's start meandering downstream and see what we can get into today. Let's go. There we go, fish on. First fish of the day. Hooked up, hooked up, what is it? Oh, it's a brown boy. Oh, don't hook me. Hey, Smalley. Okay, it's not much, but it is a start. This is probably a little 10 inch smallmouth. Glad to see some out here today. The creek is so low. This is the lowest I've ever actually fished it. So I'm interested to see what some of these deep holes will look like downstream and hopefully i will have a bunch of these guys all hold up, but I was actually working the jerk bait kind of wrong up against the current, but it's the only place it was deep enough was against these weeds, but we'll take it. Good start. I'm gonna try to keep count, count of how many we catch today. And hopefully we'll catch some big ones too. We had already fished it all, and maybe we're walking back just like this. Now it's caught fish after fish after fish. There we go. That's a big one, dude. That's a giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. Giant. Giant, Smalley. There's another one following him. That's a giant. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, stay on. Stay on, big dog. Oh, stay on there. Oh, yeah. Guys, look at the size of this smallmouth. This is an amazing fish for this creek. He's probably pushing 17 inches or so. And what's crazy, guys, is, well, let me tell you the situation. So we walked downstream a good ways, and the water was just stanky. It was really mossy. We weren't getting any bites. So we've actually decided, I think, to pull the plug on this area and go to another spot. Um, but before we left, I decided to make a few casts in this run behind us because it looks so good. And boom, this guy came out and smoked that jerk bait. I mean, it's a beautiful fish. Look at the speckling on the top of him. I mean, it's just a gorgeous smallmouth bass. This is what you come to the Ozarks for. Just so cool. It, it, it makes me question if we need to leave or not, but I think that's ultimately the move we need to make because there's some better pools downstream if we go down there, but there's also another river system that we're thinking about checking out, but it's nice to catch a good one here. We drove all the way here for this. All right, well, we caught that big one. Definitely gonna make a couple more casts. It's just crazy how shallow it is. There's another one, another decent one. Oh my gosh. He's not as big as the other one, but it's another one. Next cast. Oh, the, oh my gosh, there's a giant chasing him too. Oh my gosh. Get up here. Woo, another fatty. Look how fat that one is. Look at how he got that jerk bait. There was one literally the same size as the big one I just released, chasing him in. And I think I hit that jerk bait two times and he was on it. You see him small, they just come up and they just crash into it and they try to disorient it like it's a bait fish and then they usually come in and kill it. But he's got a tubby belly. He's probably been eating a bunch of shiners down there. Man, 
That's crazy. It's crazy we walked past the spot like 30 minutes ago and didn't catch anything, and now we're back up in here catching them. It's probably because we're casting at it the right way. You always want to cast upstream into the current and work the, jer work the jerk bait down. Here okay, we're sending back, so we catch another one. Slab City. That's a big one. I got two. Oh, he's got one. It's a big one. I got two. I got two on there. I swear I got two on there, dude. No, it's just one. He's took sideways now. There's so many chasing him. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my gosh, they're trying to get it out of his mouth. There's so many big ones right here, dude. They're trying to steal it from him. There's so many big ones. There's a whole school of them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's like six big ones the same size as this one. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on there. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Stay on, big guy. He's got the current. Stay. Oh, don't jump. He's got like one hook in him. Oh, don't jump. Don't jump. Oh my gosh, stay on there. Yeah, the grass. I gotta belly this guy up. Get on the bank. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> Look at that tank. I mean, I think this one here is about the same length as that first big one we caught, but he is so much chunkier. I mean, look how healthy that guy is. He's been down there just smoking some shiners, maybe a couple of crawdads, but he demolished that jerk bait. And there was literally six of them chasing him. And at one point I had two of them hooked up. Oh my gosh, I gotta get back in there. I'm gonna catch another one, but look at that. You can't forget to admire them while you have them in a hand because these guys are honestly kind of rare this size. We catch a bunch of them in that 10 to 14 inch range, but when you start getting them this size, that's just so incredible. What an amazing fish up here. Look how big his tail is. That's a river fish for you guys. <laughs> Get down. There we go. There we go. There's another brown boy. He's not as big as the last one. But we'll take it. Oh, there's, oh, there's some big ones chasing him. There's some good ones chasing him. Fired up. Okay, let's get him in. All right. No nice little jerk bait fish. Definitely not as big as some of the last ones we've caught, but still a nice little smallmouth. But what's good about this is I saw some more nice ones following him out, which means they're still here. I'm gonna make a couple more casts with this jerk bait, then I'm gonna make a bait swap and uh, see if I can't trick him with something else. I think they're kind of getting used to seeing this thing and they know it's not real now, but he still fell for it. Let's send the little guy back. Okay, I'm trying something a little crazy. I've got this little finesse swim bait. I've had this thing literally in my box for probably three years. I've never thrown it. I always intend to, but I always just keep that jerk bait on. But these fish out here feed almost exclusively on bait fish. And I feel like this is a pretty good match in the size of bait fish they're eating. It's a little bit wider, but I think that, that could target a little bit better than average size bite. There's several small ones in here, but we've already seen some really big ones too. So we're just gonna try it out. I don't know if it's gonna swim right in the current. I have no idea if this thing's gonna work at all. I've never thrown it before, but I'm gonna try it. So it's just a little line through swim bait. You have your, you have your treble hook and you just slide it up in here to the belly, just like that. And uh, I feel like if we do get bent on this thing, it's gonna be a big one, but I'm worried they're just gonna swipe at it, but we'll see how it works. Eat it. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, dude. Got him, dude. He ate the swim bait. Eat it, yes. He ate it. Oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> yeah, baby. Two casts with it and we got a fish. How crazy is that? Literally, I've had this bait in my bag for years. Always wanted to throw it, never have. And we finally had the perfect situation for it. And there was another one even bigger than this following him out too. There's, I don't know where, they, like we can see in the water, we can see the bottom and they just come out of nowhere. I gotta get the hook out of his bottom lip. That's a solid one, probably 14 and a half inches, but they're just so stocky, so well built. Just fat and tails, man, that was crazy. <laughs> okay, just got the bait, retied back on, got the hook back in position. And we are ready to rip and get things back out there. See if we can't get one or two more of those good ones. There was six. 
And the other time I saw this fish, there were six. Well, plus the one, there were seven. So we've caught two, I think, maybe three of the nicer sized ones. We're gonna skip back up under there and see if we can catch another one. I mean, literally, we can see everything down there. It's the craziest thing. But then they just, they magically appear. They're like ghosts. Like that right there. The calm spot, not necessarily, but as soon as I... Uh, I think it's... Oh, 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 there we go. Decent one. Decent bass. Get how big he is. He's in his current. He's decent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. He's honestly bigger than I thought he was. Oh, look at the tiger stripes on him. Stay on there. Stay on there. Yeah. Oh, he's a lot bigger than I thought he was. That honestly might be the third biggest one of the day. He was fighting hard, but I just couldn't tell how big he was because he was in that fast current. I swamped jerk baits up. That one I was throwing was diving down a little bit too deep in the shallower stuff. I got the old trusty little rip stop on there. That's probably my favorite overall jerk bait in these shallow creeks. It's super shiny and flashy and they just can't stand it. I made about five casts into this riffle behind me and didn't get a bite and I was really surprised. So definitely good to know there was one there. It looked too good of a spot. I mean, that's just a great above average size smallmouth you're gonna catch here in the Ozark Mountains. Beautiful fish. Doing good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. How'd you get your fish out? There's a deer right there. Oh, really? How yeah, I was just... Going? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Y'all want to save me the hassle of having to check you later? Yeah. 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 All right. I'm, I'm filming things, uh, but I can see you. What's the thing with the bubble on it? That's a over-under camera. Um, you can stick it in the water and you can get underwater shots and above ground shots. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. There's definitely some pretty neat fish in there I'd like to take some pictures of. What's today's date? Today is the 25th. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I think it I think it auto renews, but it's the 28th on there. All right. Well, then you're good to go. <laughs> that's close. I was like, oh gosh, I saw that seven. I was like, surely not. <laughs> yep, that's cutting it close. It is cutting it close. I think it auto renews though. All right, well, that'd be good. Yeah. Oh, 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 what is this? That's big. That's big. Is that a bass? Is that a bass? I think it's a bass. I think it's a big bass. Oh yeah, good bass. Good bass back here in this backwater. Oh, it's a really nice one. Get up here. Come here, big dog. Up here in the foam. Yeah, got him. That is a really solid smallmouth. Uh, he's probably about close to 15 inches or so. He's got beautiful coloration. Caught him over in this little backwater area. We have this nice run right here. This is all calm. I can't see it out of the water because of all the bubbles. And I threw it back up in there and he just got smoked. He was fighting very strange. I thought I had like a catfish or something he was rolling, but I'm happy to see it was a nice smallmouth bass. Get me excited to keep moving down the creek. I'm gonna make a couple more casts in there too because it looks so good. It looks crazy good up in there. Gotcha. Oh, dude, got him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> in the fastest water. This guy's got half a tail. I don't know how he was keeping up in this fast water. I mean, look at the fastest little part of this run. I was just working the drip bait back to me and it was like spinning around all stupid on top and he came up and ate it. <laughs> He's like bright yellow. What a cool little fish. See him back. There we go. Fire, aww. Oh. I think just the sun being out, it's got him, got him biting now. Oh, there's a big one following it. Got him, big one. 
Big one. Big one. Oh gosh, he's barely hooked, I think. That might be the biggest one. Oh my gosh. He's barely hooked, stay on there. Man, got him right in the current. Come on, big guy. Turn, 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 turn. Turn to me. These smallmouth are so strong. I think he hooked himself again, that's good. We got more hooks in him now. <laughs> Woo! That's what I was hoping would happen when he turned. Man, he will not give up. I'm gonna pull him up. Come on, get up here. Uh, golly. Yeah. Man, there's some good ones down here. If you look right here, that's where he was originally hooked. Just had those two little points right there inside of his lip, but he turned his body and I was able to get the hook down there inside of the head, which helped me land. I think he would have pulled off if that had not happened. That is a really nice smallmouth. Let me grab him like this a little bit better. Look at there. Beautiful fish. His tail's got, he's missing the tip of his tail too. He looks like he got bit by a crawdad or something. But man, they are really turning on out here. Now that the sun's gotten up high, I think they can really see his jerkbait flashing in the current. Let's see if we can get him unhooked and get him back in the water. Oh, that's a, that was a big flash, dude. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Dude, I saw that flash as he was coming to it. And then he disappeared. Look at that fish in that clear water. Oh, I was gonna let him just fight it out. That is so beautiful. Oh, he's gonna jump. Yeah! Let's go, buddy. Okay. The quality out here is just phenomenal. Now these aren't giant smallmouth by any means. We're not up on the Great Lakes. We're not on St. Lawrence River or nothing. But on the Ozarks, this is a good fish. He's not as colored up some of the other ones, but he still put up a great fight. You love to see it. We're gonna send him back and keep trekking on down the creek. Hopefully find. I'm looking for an 18 incher today. I think we can do it. Quality's here today. Got him. Giant. Nice one. That was so cool watching come out from eat that log and eat that thing. Man, this water is even clearer right here. Is he gonna jump? Look at him, he's just wobbling like a catfish down there. That's a nice one. Oh my gosh. Man, there's nothing better than watching these smallmouth fight in this clear water. There we go. There we go, buddy. Oh, he hit that thing in the head. Headshot. Catching nothing but quality smallmouth bass in this jerkbait out here today. And it's like, you'll look out there, you can see all the way down to the bottom. You can, you don't see any fish. You start jerking this thing around and they just come out of nowhere and smack it. Love when they get it by the head like that too. I think you know they wanted it. You know, they're just stocky, 15 and a half inch or probably close to two pounds. All right, guys, one. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Got it. He got it. He got it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, don't give up on it. You can do it. You can do it, little buddy. There we go. We were observing a huge school of some sort of sucker fish out there. There's probably a hundred of them. And I just felt like if I threw that jerk bait through them, I'd either maybe hook one or there'd be a smallmouth that would get competitive and come up and get it. I think there was another one chasing the jerk bait. It looked a little bit bigger, but this little guy ultimately got it. No, nice one. There we go. Got us one out of this hole. Little chunk. There we go, nice to get one out of this hole right here. So we got this really nice deep hole behind us. It looks really good. Um, but the problem is this jerk bait just really seems to work better in the shallow or moving water. 
you can swap down to like a bottom bait, like a plastic, like a shaky head or a Ned rig. But the thing about that, this water is so clear and these fish are so pressured that you need to drop down in line size also. And I just feel like working this jerk bait and covering water is the best, best option for us to catch some big ones. So we're just gonna kind of move past this pool quickly and get into some more current. But nice to catch one out of it though. I actually, fun fact, caught my biggest smallmouth ever out of this creek in this pool. But the water was like <laughs> six foot higher probably. I remember I watched this video one time and the dude was using poppers and he was putting corn on the treble hooks and just floating it down. And they would come beneath the corn off the treble hook. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. Get it. That's a giant. Eat it. Don't be dumb. Oh, no. No. Oh my gosh, dude. That one was big. Let me get back in there. That was a really big smallmouth. That was a big, big, big smallmouth. That was a three pounder. Three pounder, boy. Got him. I don't know if that's him or not. Oh, that's a good one though. Come on, big dog. Oh, no. I don't think that was the giant, giant one, but it's still a nice one. Dang it. Ah, we've been doing good not losing fish. Sheesh. Oh, nice one. Decent one. Decent one. We'll call him decent. Decent one. Come on up. Oh yeah, can't be mad at that. Oh, in some of the places we fish, we'd be thrilled to catch one this size. Another just solid, heavily bodied little smallmouth. Peace. Eat my jerk bait. Oh, there we go. Is he snagged or is he big? Is he snagged or is he big? He's a little bit medium and a little bit snagged. <laughs> He's turbocharged. Yep, he got wacky rigged a little bit. <laughs> We've traveled a pretty good distance down the creek without catching anything. We're in this really nice looking hole right here that looks like it can have some big ones, but we got a little guy to start in this hole. Send him back. We're gonna go down a little further. There's another riffle right here, and then we're gonna evaluate whether we wanna keep going down or if we wanna start making our way back upstream towards the vehicle. We've gone a long way. We've traveled about a mile and a half down this creek so far, and it's been a good, really good waiting system. We've caught a bunch of fish. We've caught some good ones. It's just like, I know that there's like some three pounders in here, some four pounders, and uh, I feel like I've seen a few, and I would really love it if we could round out the day with a big one, but we'll see what happens. We're gonna keep jerking this thing away and see if we can't get lucky. Okay guys, so we've gone just about as far as I think we're gonna go today. We're in this last big pool. The riffle is right there, so not a whole lot left to fish, but there's a nice shade line developing on this backside. So I decided to mix things up and I tied on the world's smallest whopper plopper. It's just another little bone color. I've been wanting to throw this thing for a while. I've caught some nice smallmouth in the past on these uh, plopping style baits. And I think that this would be a great thing to maybe trigger a big bite. So we're gonna cast things on this opposite bank over here. It's deep, there's a nice little current flow, there's shade, and it's just, you know, the perfect, and it's just the perfect situation to throw a topwater bait. So we're going to see if we can't get lucky, catch a couple more nice fish before we head up, head out. But I think this thing can do it. Got him. Got him. Big one. Big one. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a nice one on the mini whopper plopper. Oh, he's got some trying to steal it from him. That is a good one. Oh, we got two, we got two, we got two. We got, oh, we came off, we almost had two. Oh my gosh, we almost had two fish. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on there, barely hooked. Yeah, there we go. 
It only took a couple of casts with that little whopper plopper to get a nice one to commit. And there were several following it. We had two hooked up for a second. It's really hard to get two, you know, good sized smallmouth and to keep them both pinned on these little treble hooks. And I'm glad we at least got this one right here. He just absolutely crushed that thing. Look at the tiger stripes on him. What a pretty fish. We haven't caught a good one in a while. And uh, it's nice to know there are some good ones in this pool. I think this is going to be the last pool we fish. We're going to finish it out. There's a nice shade line on that back bank. Maybe we can catch a couple of more. But if not, this is just an awesome way to cap off the video. But uh, we're going to make a few more casts if we can't get lucky a couple more times. But what a cool fish and an even cooler bite. Definitely the bite of the day. All right, we just made it back to where we parked the truck. It was about a, almost a two-mile walk back here, but it was definitely worth it walking all the way down to the creek. We found some nice holes. We found some nice fish. And I don't even know how many we caught today. Probably close to like, probably 40, maybe more. We caught a bunch of little ones, caught a lot of good ones. And that's all you can ask for on a hot summer day like this, especially when the creek is really low too. But we did most of our damage today with these three baits, a jerk bait, a jerk bait, and a jerk bait. <laughs> they just got absolutely mauled. I was just kind of rotating between the three. I was throwing this one. This is a, this is a rip stop. It's great in really, really shallow water. And then I just kind of alternated between these two when I got in a little bit deeper water. But I think this one here was the best one on the day. This is the old uh, little mega bass. That's a new jerk bait for this year, I think, from them. But you can see my hooks are just absolutely trashed on that thing. I gotta put new hooks on all of these things. But I really love throwing a jerk bait this time of year in these creeks where silvery bait fish is the main forage. And I really like it when the water gets really clear like this too. Them smallmouth, they just can't resist seeing this thing darting side to side and flashing everywhere. You can really trigger some awesome reaction strikes. I think you had, we've been throwing like soft plastics all day. We wouldn't have caught nearly as many fish and definitely not as many big ones. So if you're looking for a bait to try out this summer in your small creeks, be sure to check these out. I'll leave a link in the video description below. But until then, we're going to make the long drive back home to Central Arkansas. But before we do, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If y'all enjoyed it, do me a huge favor. Hit thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.